Hello and welcome to CS50's Introduction to Game Development Assignment 8 Helicopter Game 3D The Gem Update. Okay, so in this short video I will uh, show my approach for this assignment. We have to uh, add gems to the game, which are similar as coins, but they should be worth 5 coins and should spawn more rarely. And we also have to fix a bug where the scroll speed of planes, coins and buildings does not reset when the game is restarted. Let's first look into Unity. So we have our scene right here. Um, a couple of things I added. Uh, first of all, the gem spawner. Uh, basically just a plain game object with a script attached which we will look into later and also prefab a prefab attached prefab of gem and yes i added a new prefab um, the model for this was in the protopack models the diamond one and i also yeah similarly to the coin i added a script and a box collider and it's a trigger and also yeah scrolling script which will also will explain later yes so let's jump into the code oh, that's not good um first of all we will look at the fix where we res reset the scrolling speed and this is done in the game over text because here we uh yeah when when we reach uh the game over state not really the state but if we crash you have to press space to restart then we load the main scene and here i just reset the skyscraper spawner speed to 10. and of course this has to be static and public in order to be exposed Okay, so let's look into the gem class, which is basically same as the coin class. I removed the update things also from the coin class and transferred it into a separate behavior called scrolling. And the code is right here, so I just copied it right here. And so we can use this uh, component for other game objects now. And also on trigger enter, uh, we pick up the gem basically and I changed the pickup function to be more generic so it's now called pickup bonus and we just pass in the value how much we get added so the amount of points we get basically so if we look into the heli controller we now have pickup bonus we pass in the points and those get added to the coins total and therefore also the coin class in the coin class we also call this function but with the value of one here okay now the gem spawner also basically a copy of the coin spawner but uh, in this case we wait five to ten seconds after each gem spawns and we also allow only one row of gems so basically just one gem so not multiple at once yeah that's basically it so now i will show a quick demo of the game and you will just do this right here in unity and you see already a gem here got very lucky um, okay let's t look at the coins we have now seven and now i try to pick up a gem and here we have one and now i have 12 so it we get five points and they also spawn more rarely and the speed is reset too because we are now more slowly like yeah standard speed perfect okay fine so thanks for watching this small video about assignment 8 and yeah stay tuned for more uh, videos regarding this course and uh, you can also watch my previous videos of course 
So have a nice day and bye.